Hello, this is Patricia with Pat's Two Cents. <clears throat> Listen to this. This is Leviticus chapter 20, starting at verses 6 through 15, I believe. Maybe 16, we'll see. And the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits and after wizards to go a whoring after them, I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. Hmm. Sanctify yourself therefore and be ye holy, for I am the Lord your God. And ye shall keep my statutes and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. For every one that curses his father or his mother shall surely shall be surely put to death. He hath cursed his father or his mother, his blood shall be upon him. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. And the man that lieth with his father's wife has uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man lie with his daughter-in-law, both of them shall surely be put to death. They have wrought confusion. Their blood shall be upon them. If a man shall lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. And if a man take a wife and his mother, it is, neck, it is wickedness. They shall be burned with fire, both he and they, that there be no wickedness among you. And if a man lie with a beast, he shall surely be put to death, and ye shall slay the beast. Verse 16, because that goes for women too. And if a woman approach unto any beast, and lie down there too, that thou shalt kill the woman and the beast, they shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Listen, I'm going to stop there. But I want you to hear, a lot of times, you know, we want to justify what we want to do because we're living in the last days and we're not in the Old Testament where people get stoned and killed and every little, uh, every little evidence of sin. You know, they don't have to, we don't have to deal with all of that, you know, uh, harshness, so to speak. So people commit all kind of sins. Men have sex with their daughters. They rape their daughters. They molest their daughters. Daughters start liking it. That's all they know. That's how they get affection from daddy. Mothers molest their sons. They, they teach them how to handle a woman's body. Next thing you know, they're having sex with their sons. The sons don't know any different. They start getting this horny thing on them. And I mean, this starts opening doors for demonic attachments on these poor kids. Damage is definitely done. God can undo it, but damage is done. Now, a lot of times, you know, we want to say, you know, we're in this, in, 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 in the new days. You know, that was back then. That's in the Stone Age. There ain't nobody doing that. But see, the Bible says that God never changes. He is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. So if he's the same, so are his standards. And if he hated something back then, he hates it right now. So if you are having sex with animals, if you're screwing your dog or your horse or whatever, or letting the dog and the horse screw you, if you are uh, having sexual connections with babies and kids and, and, and young adults, minors, you're not only committing adultery, but you're molesting these poor babies. You're messing them up. Those of you who want to lay man with man, woman with woman, it's plain. 
It's an abomination to God. It's not okay. No. You want to make it okay because in this day and age, we call right wrong and wrong right. God doesn't do it. We do. Because we want what we want. We want it now. You know I'm telling the truth. You know I'm telling the truth. I remember I went to this young lady's house years ago. God's bringing it to my mind, so I'm going to bring it out. I went to this lady's house, and I always wondered why she was so strange. She was friendly, but she was strange. And I knew she was messed up. I just didn't know why. Till I walked in her house. She invites me to her house. So we can hang. We hadn't seen each other in over a decade. We hook up. I come over to visit. And as soon as the door opens, I, I'm, I'm about to gasp. I, I couldn't believe my eyes. You don't, this isn't normal. I'm looking at every wall in her living room. And I'm thinking, what? What is this? Naked images. Playboy poses, I mean sexual poses, boobs, nipples, butt, everything out in the open for everybody to see. As soon as you open the living room door, there it is, a panorama view of every part of her body. And she's posing like she's posing for a, a magazine like Vogue magazine. No, 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 no. These were X-rated, baby. Not Plex-rated. X-rated. Plex is my way of saying playful X. No, this is X-rated. All the way raw. Now, I'm wondering how could she feel comfortable with this? Something just didn't sit right. It was bad enough to have to look at that. But to see her not even feel the slightest bit of, of embarrassment. She was cool. Then I remembered how she used to toy and tease and flirt with the guys in school. And I said, mm, maybe all that's coming from her childhood. Maybe there's something happening I never knew. Lo and behold, confirmation. Who knocks on her door and just walks in? Her father. He's not bothered by the pictures. Any normal father would be horrified. He comes, walks in, and sashays over to the couch, sits down on the couch right next to his daughter. His daughter, not his woman, his daughter. Did you hear me? His daughter. And he puts his arms around her like she's his woman. I didn't want to be rude, but I wanted to get up and run out of, I wanted to get out of Dodge so fast. I looked at that and I said, something sick going on. It felt sick. It felt wrong. The atmosphere. I was like, oh no, that's why she's so messed up. That man messed up his baby. He probably been messing with her since she was yay high to a grasshopper. And she's on heavy medication. I mean, heavily medicated to the point where you would see people would talk about seeing her at a bus stop, gyrating, buck naked, high off of some prescription drugs. Not street drugs, medicine from the doctor. She was messed up. How many of you are messing your kids up? They're already dysfunctional. And they can barely navigate through life. Because you got their head screwed every which way but straight. And you think God's okay with it? You heard from his own word. He is not. Moving right along. Moving right along. You have to consider the fact that God, when he raises a standard, when he raises a bar to a certain level, he doesn't expect you to make adjustments based on 
what your criteria is because in that equation you don't count your opinion doesn't count what God calls holy is holy now I'm going to go back to the beginning because this is part of something that we overlook in this day and age I have never seen so many born again Christians born again Christians who dabble in the occult who consult with wizards witchcraft mediums psychic hotlines tarot cards candles whatever messes out there that they mess with listen to this and the soul that turneth after such as have familiar spirits verse 6 and after wizards to go a whoring after them I will even set my face against that soul and will cut him off from among his people. Now, if he felt that strongly back then, do you really think he's going to change now? 